If you're looking to work and live in the Europe, then Belgium is also one of the best places for foreign job seekers to find a suitable job and then later to obtain a European blue card and residence permit. With many EU institutions, NATO and lots of other major international organizations and multinational companies based in Brussels, there are many job vacancies available in Belgium for foreigners. Working in Belgium also offers a great salary and benefits. Plus, working as an employee, it is common to get benefits like a company car, laptop, meal discounts, or free language courses. Speaking English only is indeed possible at work, but also in your daily life. Belgium being a small northern European country split between two languages and hopefully English is quite widely accepted. It isn't uncommon for native French speakers to communicate uh, with native Dutch speakers in English or vice versa. So the nature of this beautiful and developed country is that English is widely and commonly spoken language in its society. Belgium has also an excellent reputation for being an easygoing, foreign-friendly society. As an expat, you will be able to make friends and fit in easily due to the country's tolerance and safety, and it is exceptionally tranquil and secure, making it an appealing destination for any expat. Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time visiting our channel, my name is Ahmad Reza and here at Persia Global we help those who are in search of better opportunities to work, live or study abroad. By subscribing to Persia Global, you discover better opportunities to work, live or study abroad where you're certainly treated, honored and benefited well. In this video, like other videos in our channel, I'm going to share another great opportunity to work and live in a great country. And in today's video, I want to share Belgium work and residence permit with you. You will find what to do and what to consider if you're going to start a new life in Belgium, which is one of the best countries in Europe. So if this is your first time being here, subscribe to our channel and for getting informed of new uploads, hit the notification bell. There are many important, valuable and important tips to consider for this type of visa. So please stay tuned until the end of the video. You may also uh, need to stop and pause uh, on uh, some parts of the uh, video to review the process I explained. If you have any questions concerning the Belgium visa application process, do not hesitate to comment uh, below. Uh, please follow the tips in this video and avoid making mistakes that could lead to your visa rejection and make your application a smooth sailing experience. The first step in obtaining a work visa for Belgium is to secure employment there. It is advantageous to be employed before you would seek to obtain a residence permit or working visa in Belgium. Because your work visa is related to your residence status. So in any cases, as well as those for national studying in Belgium, you should first find an employer in Belgium to process your work permit. Sometimes it seems so hard to process such visa, but I wanna make sure that this process is not that much hard, but time consuming. And of course, anything that is time consuming also sets in mental and physical fatigues for applicants. So by this, I mean, uh, you can simply leave for Belgium if you're eligible for and uh, you can find an employer there. Belgium is a Schengen country that is well known for its high rejection rates in issuing Schengen visa with 23% of applications rejected and only 77% approved. You need to be extra cautious when applying for a Schengen visa from uh, Belgium but fortunately the rate of visa issuance for work and study permits is relatively high and considerable. If you want to get a Schengen visa, please also see our videos for Schengen visa from the best countries to get Schengen uh, to how to apply as well as tips and tricks for this type of visa. 
Your work experience could be from any sector, uh, however, service and uh, high-tech industries are typically located in the Flanders region, in the north of Belgium, uh, while coal and steel manufacturing are concentrated in the south. The majority of Belgians work in the service sector, uh, in the banking, low media, retail, tourism, and transport industries. So you can find different types of jobs in this country, providing you could secure an employment contract. That I'll explain more about this issue too. So first of all, let's see uh, what is the Belgian work visa. To work and live in Belgium as a non-EU or EU a citizen you must submit an application for a work permit the applicant who are from non-EU countries are also called third country nationals uh, but to enter Belgium you must first file for a long stay visa and once you enter Belgium you must submit an application for a residence permit uh, with employment privileges or for a Belgium work permit it means that a third country national who wishes to work in Belgium must first obtain a work permit but before that you need to get a residence permit a third country national authorized to work and reside in Belgium may be accompanied or joined by their spouse, registered partner, and children. The conditions and modalities for submitting an application for a visa or residence permit for families should be also done based on the family reunification residence permit. For more detailed information on the employment of farm workers, because in Belgium this matter falls within the competence of different regions, applicants are therefore needed to apply through the website of the competent region that you are going, for example, to live there. Uh, you can see the website for each region of Belgium to apply a work permit in the description section of this video. Before leaving for Belgium, you should go through certain formalities. Depending on your country of origin, some may not be necessary. 1. You should have a valid passport issued by your country of origin. For citizens of some uh, countries, an identity card will suffice. Uh, 2. You must have a visa if you need one to enter Belgium. You can get a one from the Belgium Embassy or Consulate responsible for your place of residence with a link below our video. And as I mentioned, as a non-EU or EEA citizen, you must first apply for a long stay visa and not a Schengen visa. Of course, if you want to only visit Belgium, Schengen is also a good choice. Three, in most cases, you must also have the permits required for working in Belgium. You will need different permits depending on whether you wish to require self-employed work permit or employee work permit. These formalities are not always mandatory. It depends on where you come from. Swiss citizens and citizens of the European Economic Area are exempt from this rule though. In Belgium, uh, there are three different kinds of work visas for foreign nationals. For salaried activity, you need a single permit and for self-employed activity, you need a professional card. In some cases, third country nationals are exempted from the obligation to obtain this work permit. In addition, all residence permits issued by Belgium feature a stamp or statement regarding access to the labor market. Labor market limited or labor market unlimited or labor market no. Uh, that I explain more in the following. For type A work permit, you should have possessed uh, the type B authorization for four years during a 10 year residence in Belgium in order to be qualified for this work permit. Type A licenses are good for an endless amount of time or for unlimited status I mentioned earlier. For type B work permit, your company or your employee should submit an application for this type B permit on your behalf for a specific role. This is also called single 
permit that is a salaried activity you can apply for this work permit through the, uh, the immigration office with a link below this video there are also work permits for researchers trainees and ICT workers that are a little bit different from each other for type C work authorization if you wish to work in Belgium and you are a transitory tourist or an asylum claimant whose right to remain in Belgium is not determined you will require a type C uh, work permit it is good for um, a year at most for, for your entry visa and living for Belgium right after you get an employment contract and before applying for your work permit and residence you need uh, to get a long-term D visa that you can also apply for this through a partner company of Belgium Embassy in charge of processing applications for short-term and long-term visas. The VFS Global uh, for Belgian visas is a service to uh, select the visa type that is right for you. Uh, to see important information on uh, visa fees, uh, documents required, forms, photo specifications and processing times. You should also know what are the requirements for the Belgian work visa and residence permit before leaving your country. Your residence permit is issued by the immigration office and your work permit is issued by the public service of your living region, uh, for example, by the public service of Volania. I'll give more details about this person too. The following documents are necessary for a work visa in Belgium. Passport. You must obtain a current passport. Permit to work. You should have a job in Belgium before requesting a work visa. You'll be capable of working and living in Belgium if you have a work permit. Certification of health. You must show that you are free of any medical issues that could endanger the health of the general public. Evidence of accommodation in Belgium. You must demonstrate that you have a space to reside. Evidence of financial capacity. You must provide evidence that you can support yourself financially in Belgium. Evidence that you have never been convicted of a crime. The legalization of some of your documents. This is something uh, apart from the official translation of the documents you need to submit. Uh, you can check how to do legalization of your documents via a link below our video. You may also need an equivalence statement that is a document which expresses the value of uh, the studies you have undertaken abroad that I'll give more details about this document and uh, how to uh, take it in the following. But before that, let's find out what is the cost of living and the rate of salaries in Belgium. Uh, although Belgium is not the cheapest place to live, remember uh, this, uh, that with a higher cost of living come higher standards of living. Indeed, uh, Belgium ranks among the top 15 countries in the world in terms of standard of living according to the OECD. The cost of living in Belgium for a family of four living in a three-bedroom apartment in the city center is roughly uh, 4,075 uh, euros. Uh, for context, living in Belgium is considerably cheaper than in the United States and the nearby European countries such as the Netherlands, uh, France and Austria. Average wages for low skill employees in Belgium increased to 1,890 euros per month or 2,131 US dollars per month. The maximum was 1,950 euros per month and minimum was 1,770 euros per month. So we see that the salaries in Belgium are also good along with living standards. So let's return back to the process of getting the document of equivalent statement that is a recognized certificate of degrees taken abroad for those who want to work in Belgium. The website of mydiploma.be offers information about the recognition of foreign degrees for people who want to find a job, start a business or study in Belgium. There are several procedures you need to take. 
The most suitable procedure in your situation will depend on various uh, criteria such as the study level of your diploma or degree, your professional goal and the language community of Belgium in which you would like to live or develop professionally. In order to get to the right procedure, click at the each step on the box that corresponds to your situation. The specific recognition proves uh, the level and the field of study to which corresponds uh, your higher education degrees, for example, bachelor in accounting or master in biology. For how to choose between the French speaking and the Dutch speaking procedure, we advise you to choose the linguistic community where you live and or where you plan to develop professionally. For example, if you're supposed to base yourself or you're based in Brussels, you may have the choice between both procedures of recognition of your degree for a French speaking community or for a Dutch speaking community. Copy of uh, the degree or diploma, copy of the transcripts, uh, the application form and a payment fee up to 200 euros are required. If the originals of the degrees and transcripts or even the degree supplements are in another language provide a sworn translation in French or English you can translate other documents required yourself so what are the procedures to apply for a Belgian work visa the following is the procedure for requesting a work visa for Belgium one work your way into the Belgium job market you must secure a job as the initial stage uh, in the process of course online job search engines for Belgium are available before you may submit uh, an application for a work permit in Belgium your employer must give you a work contract for the possession you have been offered for applying for a work permit you must do so using the forms available uh, from the regional employment agencies the placement of job seekers um, is organized by regional public and private services and agencies you can get more information on applying for a work permit on different portals related to each region in belgium in flanders via the regional portal in valania via its regional portal in brussels capital region via its regional portal you should also consider this important point that choosing between these uh, public recruitment agencies to pave your way of finding a suitable employer doesn't depend on your working location but your living location so if you move to live in Volania which is located in the southern part of Belgium you should choose the agency of left for uh, there are fortunately support for newcomers who speak different languages if you just move to Brussels and you're looking for employment and if you don't speak enough French or Dutch and find it difficult to get a job uh, actress can help you on your way actress agency provides brochures and widows in 22 different languages you can also hire an interpreter to facilitate uh, communication with actress or uh, VDAB agencies uh, free of charge for the first meeting try to get help from those who know French or Dutch if possible there are also language training courses for free in these websites that can and help you a lot in your process of getting PR or finding job more easily and integrating yourself in the Belgian society in the future. So use the regional portals, websites or recruitment agency websites to help you find an employer online. Two, make a work permit application. You get the right to file a working a visa after being employed. Either you or your employer may submit an application directly to the Belgian embassy or consulate in your country of residence. Three, visit Belgium. You are eligible to work in Belgium with your work permit, but you must uh, have a D-type visa to do so. Before moving to Belgium, you must apply for a line stay visa or type D visa. Either you or your company or employer can submit an application for your type D visa at the Belgian immigration office or uh, embassies. Four, request a work visa. 
you as an applicant can now travel to Belgium and visit your local town hall to obtain your work and residence permit after receiving employment and a long stay visa. After four to five years of residing in Belgium, you will be granted the right to remain there permanently. It could take between eight and 10 weeks to get a work visa. Given that it must be applied for on your behalf, it is also dependent on the company you would be working for. Obtaining a residence permit on arrival in Belgium. When you first land in Belgium, you must register with your local town hall or administration in the foreigners registry. Thereafter, you will need to provide your fingerprints and submit an application for an ID card. You will attain your identity card, which serves as your residency permission. Once you have satisfied these conditions, apply for a work and residency visa in Belgium by following the streamlined instructions provided by our team at Persia Global. These licenses are swiftly issued and completed, and they are reasonably priced. Uh, for more information on visas, please subscribe to our channel and comment below our videos if you have any queries related to your relocation or immigration. For Belgian visas, you can also consult the website of the Foreign Affairs, Foreign Trade and Development Cooperation FPS with a link below our video. I hope this video could help you on your immigration and relocation journey. As always, pin all your hopes always on God. You will never be pinned down by men. Until the next video, over and out.